Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to It Tastes Different. You don't have to be the master unlocking to hit like, subscribe, and click notifications. What's on the menu? We serve up our blood to Lady Dimitrescu in Resident Evil 8, or Village. Alright, Resident Evil 8. Capcom has released this year. It is the unbelievably eighth number in the main series. It is a biohazard, of course, to most people, still in the everywhere else. It, uh, I don't really know how to describe it, so I'm going to let uh, Russell go first. Wow. Um, well, um, that is, um, very shocking. I can't believe he picked me first. I wasn't ready to go first. So I am the hater of the group, everybody. Um, my name is Russell. Um, not a big fan of a Resident Evil series. Never have been, never will be. Not that it's a bad game by any means, but it's just not my style of gameplay. Um, uh, the combat's too slow for me. The story's great, but um, I don't know. It's just not my favorite cup of tea. Uh, I did make it about uh, uh, probably about 42% of the way through. Maybe I, I can't really remember. I, I've got through, got to the house, got to see a few things. The storyline was great. Um, the very first cut scene really did grab me. That's the thing about Resident Evil. Even though I may not like the game, the cut scenes and the shockingness of the game are enjoyable to me. Um, overall, it's a, it's a, it's it's if you love it you'll love this one i think i think you'll like it a lot um but uh I, I, for right now because i'm going to be the hater uh i'm going to go ahead and pass it to nick nick what did you think let me know man what do you think yeah this game is great <clears throat> i really enjoyed it um this is pretty much a sequel to i mean they're all kind of in a line with each other as far as the mainline story but this is definitely a sequel to 7 um following Ethan Winters, who is the protagonist in seven, you know, before you even start the game, even if you haven't played seven, you can watch a video that kind of gets you up to speed on what's going on so far and how we've gotten to the point at the start of eight. So it's really good. I mean, seven's a really great game. So if you haven't played it, I would suggest you play it because it's, it's a really great game. But if not, if you're just jumping into eight, then, you know, there is backstory to kind of get you up to speed. Which you can skip if you don't, if you already have beaten seven and, and going right into eight. But uh, no, I really enjoyed this one. Um, I, I, you know, it, it's kind of weird because at first I didn't, I didn't like the beginning part of this game. I thought the the it kind of started a little slow to me, and and, and it's till you get to the castle that it really kicks up, and and from there on it's great. And, and then it doesn't take long from the beginning to get from there to get to the castle, so it's not like. It's a far stretch between the beginning of the game and the castle. So it's really like, you know, maybe a couple hours in the village and kind of leading up to that. And then once you get to the castle and that point on, it, it just really speeds up. And it's a really, you know, and I was like, at first I was kind of, eh. but then when I got to the castle and on, I was like, yeah, this is good. This is great. I like this. And I enjoyed it. Um, I didn't find it as scary as, well, I didn't find seven really that scary, but I found seven more scary than this one. I really, there wasn't any parts that really scared me in eight. But uh, the action's really good. The combat, I, I think, is fun. And, and, you know, you have a a variety of different weapons uh, that you'll pick up throughout your adventure, which are fun to to use and, and to utilize. And, you know, and then, of course, you have, uh, like Resident Evil 4, you have a merchant now, the Duke, who sells and upgrades and, and you can purchase things from and stuff, which is a really interesting character, just kind of like, uh, actually more interesting to me than the, the buyer in Resident Evil 4. You know, the Resident Evil 4 guy, he just kind of wandered around, said a few lines, but this guy really kind of interacts with you in the game, so that's really cool. But overall, I really enjoyed this game. I had a lot of fun playing it, and uh, yeah, I just really liked it. So, uh, But Pat, what did you think of Resident Evil 8? Um, I struggled with it a little bit at the beginning, I'll admit. Um, and, and I don't necessarily think it was the slowness. Um, the game actually made me feel seasick, if you will, <laughs> um, when I started playing the game. Due to the limited field of view and the head bobbing, um, it made me kind of nauseous playing it. So my first two hour, 
my first hour playthrough, I was like, nah, I'm done. I can't do anymore. And then I came back, played another hour. I'm like, man, I just feel like crap every time I try to play this game. And I found out that the, I guess, however, their field of view, their 90 degree field of view just doesn't play well with however I perceive video games. And and that combined with the head bob just made it bad. So I had to disable the head bob uh, because it was just, and once I did that, I would agree that it was uh, really slow in the beginning. But honestly, I don't think it picks up until you're, you know, I liked the puzzle aspect of the mansion, but I don't honestly think it picks up until you complete the mansion. And then it just seems like wham, bam, one thing after another, you know, it's just constant action. But, you know, Resident Evil is kind of that storytelling action game. And, you know, and as, as everybody's alluded, it is a continuation of RE7. Uh, with Mr. Winters, you know, and, you know, and you'll, you'll kind of, we don't want to spoil anything, but you know, that's a continuation of his story. Uh, and now you're in like a, uh, I don't remember the name of the town, but you're in less like a Northern snowy European village for, you know, you're in a European town and then you go to a village. So, you know, try not to spoil anything there. Um, but you know, I, I got to the point to where after I made those changes, I could play the game. And I got, it didn't make me, it didn't get, it affect me. It didn't make me nauseous or anything. So I enjoyed the game very much after that, especially after the, uh, after Lady Demistress Castle. I really enjoyed that, uh, the game. Uh, Shane, what were your thoughts, man? I uh, got to agree. Uh, it did start off a little weird, a little slow. Uh, but I agree with Nick. Uh, once you got to the castle, that's when it really uh, felt more Resident Evil. Um, I was uh, surprised uh, with the game primarily with their uh, a mix of uh, Resident Evils. It felt like you had multiple things going on from previous versions. Uh, Resident Evil 4, uh, a lot of mechanics felt, uh, the weaponry, excuse me, felt like they were from Resident Evil 4. Um, then you had some aspects of uh, Resident Evil 5, PT, uh, not a Resident Evil game, but uh, the demo, um, I uh, I didn't think I was going to like it. Uh, I had a hard time with 7, uh, and Nick, you're wrong, 7 creeped me the hell out. Uh, I hated it, but I loved it at the same time. Um, the, uh, the, the game really did surprise me that I got into it that much. Um, it's not as scary, though. Definitely, you're definitely right there. Um, it, uh, it could use a little more scare. Uh, the second boss you run in with, uh, that one there, that, that was not to give anything away, but that was brown pants moment. And, uh, uh, I enjoyed it though. I, I, I think it, it, it pushed me not to quitting, but it, it did. Uh, I can't say why it creeped me out because I don't want to give nothing away, but, um, the game's good. It's truly, truly good. Uh, it is definitely a different departure from seven though, and I'm kind of wonder why they went that route. Uh, but overall, I, I'm just super happy with it. Uh, I beat it last night. Normally, uh, work night, I don't stay up late, but I stayed up late and finished it because I just, I wanted to beat it for this review. So I'm, I'm real happy with it. I'm happy with the time I put into it. Um, and, uh, let's, let's get into some in depth here. Uh, Nick, what was, uh, was there anything about it that you were kind of surprised by, or you thought was, uh, oh, that's kind of cool, you know, Resident Evil-ish, you know, something new or different? Um, well, I guess the thing that, it, there wasn't really, I, I can't think of anything new in, in, in the game that really, you know, as far as gameplay-wise, that really branched out of me as some, like, new mechanic. Um, we had pretty much the same mechanics as seven as far as blocking and tacking and, and, and you were, you're exactly right. The village and everything like that reminded me a ton of four, um, cause in four you're in a European village and fighting dudes and it, it just kind of, you know, <clears throat> this one you're fighting the lichen, which is the, which, you know, you probably seen in trailers and stuff. That's the monster looking dudes, the, they're kind of werewolf guys. So they, they're spread out throughout the town and everything like that. Um, there wasn't really any new, and then of course you had the Duke, which is the same as kind of the Wanderer in four, which sells you stuff and everything like that. So it was kind of the same mechanics and everything. <laughs> I think the, the, the thing that really, uh, you know, and you kind of, you know, I'm not, I don't want to spoil anything, but the, the, the fact that Ethan, you know, throughout the game, like the amount of punishment towards Ethan winners is just like, you're going, how is this guy still alive? 
<laughs> you know, how is he making it through all this? And like the girl, you know, it's first person. So the grotesque hand torture that this guy goes through <laughs> throughout the game. That's the that's the thing that just like I'm like my goodness this dude it would would be dead by now but uh, yeah. good thing Ethan's not a hand model right <laughs> right yeah they yeah. would be out of a job <laughs> but that was really the only thing for me I mean other than that it was pretty much your average uh, Resident Evil you know it's very much like seven as far as that first person filled and and a lot like four in the way that it kind of the action and the kind of uh, the village and everything like that really reminded me of four and kind of seven mixed together. Right. That's, that's kind of how I got from it. I didn't see any new mechanics personally that I could think of that really, I'm like, wow, that's kind of neat. Um, it's pretty much the same stuff that we usually expect from Resident Evil as far as mechanic wise goes. What about you, Pat? Was there anything that, uh, and I mean, I know me and Nick are big Rose Eagle fans. Is there anything that you were like, oh, that's pretty damn cool? I mean, story, I mean, gameplay, whatever. I'm 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 glad they didn't st- stick with the jump scare crap from seven. You know, I, I don't mind. I like the Resident Evil series, but seven was just way too creepy. And I'm like, it got to the point where I just couldn't play it as all. And I'm and I'm glad they kind of got away from that. I prefer the story and the and the stuff like that, you know, in the game. So I was really glad they did that. And and I will give everybody one tip because it bit me in the ass. And I want you guys to know before you go in there, don't sell any of the meat you find. And that's just, I'll leave it at that. Don't sell the meat because it comes in handy, even though it claims it's a valuable. So oh, don't yeah, sell yours the meat. Wasn't, yeah, yours wasn't the only cheek that got, man, that, that pissed me off. <laughs> yeah. Don't sell your meat because you think you just get cash out of it. It has value. <laughs> so don't do that. <laughs> I was so mad when I found that out. Oh, yeah, me too, because I got them all. I got everything except for one, and because guess what? I sold it, but uh, so, yeah, Russian, I mean, I, what if, I, it was fun. I mean, you got to yeah. upgrade your weapons, you know, mm-hmm. uh, you feel like you get more powerful as you go through because of that type of you stuff. Do. Um, it's just like a typical Resident Evil game. Ammunition is very hard to mm-hmm. come by, so you need to use everything sparingly. You just can't go unloading a clip into everything until you play the new game plus and unlock the you know the abilities and stuff like that but first playthrough ammo use it sparingly just like resident evil typical game don't go unloading your pistol into every lichen you find <laughs> <laughs> russ uh was there anything that you you know you really did enjoy from it well, i mean resident evil always has a great storyline um you know the the first <clears throat> scene you know the the first scene is definitely i mean Many Resident Evil fans may be ready for that kind of thing, but I was not ready for that uh, that violent of a moment right off the gate. Um, I wasn't ready for that. And then, um, again, I kind of like what I remember from some other Resident Evils, too. You end up running into, like, some very dumb people. Like, just, like, you know, it's like that horror movie or something. It's like, run away from the door. You know, don't, you know, don't go back in type thing. Um so I mean th- that stuff is pretty standard, but I, I don't want to say the, as though like I dislike the game. I'm just not a big fan of this kind of game. Not because it's horror, not because it's anything like that. It's just it. I need something a little bit faster paced to keep me going. And and sometimes not even that the puzzles are really all that difficult. It's just if I can't figure it out within two or three minutes, I sometimes get a little annoyed. Not because I can't figure them out. It's just I don't I don't know if I have the patience. There's something about um, some particular Capcom games in my play style that just don't get along. The Resident Evil series is one of them. I don't mind like the 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 Monster Hunter series, but that's because we play it as a game as a as a group. But I'm not particularly a huge fan of 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 the style of the developer style of of those of those kind of games. So that's where I struggle. But it's still it's a great storyline. Um, I believe that many gamers who are avid gamers will enjoy this game uh, for sure. I mean, we have three of them here. Shane, you know, is kind of like me. It has to be a particular game for us to really finish it. Whereas I may finish a game. Shane may not finish a game. But whereas, I, you know, vice versa, too. This is one of those. This is one of Shane's, if not Shane's fa- most favorite series. Of course, he's going to finish this game. But uh, for me, it it. I don't know if I'll go back and finish it or not. Uh, probably doubtful, but, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Well, 
I'm just happy with all the extra content they threw into it, too. And we haven't had a chance to try the mercenaries mode yet. Uh, but there's a mercenaries mode from, uh, was that five, I believe, um, that they brought back. Uh, I want to check it out. Uh, I think it could be fun. And I definitely want to do a replay uh, through it. I really do. I want to, you know, power up my weapons, go through, pop like it's left and right. Uh, find Lady Demetrius, spank her on the butt with a fly swatter. You know, uh, I, I do. I want to go back through it because I, I like uh, Nick said, it started off slow, but man, it it really picked up. And there's a few moments that you're going to be like, eh, uh, but I, I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, I think my favorite thing and probably the most surprising was the uh, amount of variety in it. It seemed like like every boss was a little bit different, uh, almost a different genre playthrough. Uh, one boss was like uh, like Resident Evil 7, jump scares, creepy noises, blah, blah, blah. You know, the one ones was you know, more action-y and puzzly. I mean, uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, I, think the, I think the replay value on it is going to be pretty good, too. And that's one thing I've always enjoyed about Resident Evil. They've always had a, a replay value. I do miss the days when you could do two characters. You play through one character, that affects the other character. Uh, I miss that, and I wish I would go back to that. I don't know how you can say replay. I mean, I I don't know. I don't think there's replay value in the game. I mean, I guess when you unlock the, at the end of the game, when you get New Game Plus, you unlock unlimited ammo for weapons, so then you just run through like an idiot and just shoot everything. So it takes away from the game, in my opinion, at that point, because that was the fear I had in the game for the most time. I don't know about you guys, but it was just like, how much ammo can I spare to take down that enemy? Do I waste my time to do that? Because that was a decision I had to make a lot of times in the game. You're like, I don't have to go back there, but I think there's a secret back there that I want to get. But do I have enough ammo to take that out and then to come back and go into the next area with a limited amount of ammo? So, and I mean, if you go into with unlimited ammo, um, it's going to be like playing the second to last scene, just, you know, <laughs> you know, the second to last section of the game. Uh, all the whole game and that that just seemed that in my opinion would take away from the game a bit because a lot of it is just strategizing how i'm going to approach this scenario because the very last the very last act if you will or whatever where you're going to the factory is very tactical because the enemies are not you're just not going to run and gun the enemies in that one um even with unlimited ammo well i guess because you do get unlimited ammo in one of the weapons it's just super powerful so um you can if you unlock it but you know I, um I don't I don't know. I don't see a lot of replay value, replayability in the game. I mean, I saved my game right before the final act so that I could go back and do any collectibles or anything I wanted, but there is still some collectibles that are locked out because I didn't get to them before, you know, the top of the building collapsed or whatever, you know. So, um, I don't know about replayability cuz I don't think that I think it takes away from the game if I'm to go back to it with unlimited ammunition or something. Yeah, I mean, I can understand your feeling on that, but I, I like to go back and get all the collectibles, all the, you know, it's like the bird cages. Uh, spoiler, sorry. Um, I never noticed the daggum things till you know, five, six hours in the freaking game, and I'm like, "Whoa, what is this? Pew! It has stuff, you know." And it's like crap. And there's a bunch of stuff like that. Uh, Apparently, there is a, a few alternative scenes, too, depending on how you approach some of the bosses I, I saw today. So I got to try that now. But I can play back through Resident Evil and be happy. Every every one of them I have. So that's just me. I have too so, much of a backlog. <laughs> so yeah. for those, so we have, we have Nick and Shane, who are veterans of the uh, RE series, and we have Patrick, which is, not quite a novice, but we would say, you know, proficient with the RE uh, line. So, you know, let's do it like favorite Star Wars movies. Where does this line up with the other Resident Evils? Um, let's go Nick first. As far as my favorite one? or is, Yes. You know, yeah, as um, your favorite one, like, as which one you enjoyed the most? Where does this line up? The one I enjoy the most is Resident Evil 1. Uh, that's still one of my favorites, and I, I've played that game so many times I can't even count how many times I played through it. Um, this would probably be, I mean, there's well, let's say the mainline series. There's eight of them, so this would probably be 
uh probably number maybe number five out of eight um, so midline yeah about midline um because you know i love one and two uh three is okay it's probably closer to the back it's not one of my favorite ones uh co veronica is definitely one of my favorites and um uh, resident Evil four is really good five's okay it's towards the end but not quite at the end six is definitely at the end because that game sucks and then <laughs> seven and, and you know and then uh probably seven and eight you know so it's it, it, yeah it's like towards the middle there but uh i would say this one's you know besides those classic ones as far as the newer ones go especially like seven and eight and then uh i, I guess like five six seven and eight uh i would say eight or probably seven eight and then five and six yeah, I, you pretty much hit it on the head. I would go with, uh, but I would go two, Code Veronica, the original. Then uh, three, I'll put three almost dead last. Uh, I did not like three. Uh, but then I would go four, seven, uh, eight, five, you know, then the rest of the crap, six and three. Um but that's one thing I liked about this game because it did feel kind of like they pulled a little bit of all of them, plus a little dash of PT, which was nice. Uh, but I, I mean, I, I think uh, game people like survival games who like to feel the pressure of crap. Do I shoot this one or do I haul butt? I think they'll really enjoy it. Uh, my tip was, uh, besides don't sell your meat, uh, when you unlock a certain weapon uh, like the Magnum, stockpile that ammunition that's what i did i used it on the end just got me through cool hmm. i will put and i and i'm not as big a resident evil fan as these guys are and i can't remember the which one it was i think it was five was i'm pretty sure it was five five or six one made you stop to shoot i'll put that one dead last because i bought that thing and i hated it from the word get-go um i would probably put this one in the middle i liked resident evil 2 uh quite a bit um, and the remake was really good. Uh, the Resident Evil remake was pretty good. Uh, I would put this one right in the middle and I would put seven closer to the end. I like this one much better than seven, but I don't like horror games. I'll take this from a guy who doesn't like scary horror games. I like the game. I like it. I like the story. This one wasn't very scary. It had a couple of moments where you're just like, oh crap. But other than that, it's not like they intentionally did what seven did because seven was the creep factor turned all the way up. I mean, literally, like when you first enter the cabin in seven, and then you crawl in the fireplace and there's like a ladder going down in the darkness. I'm like, oh, hell no. I'm not going in there, <laughs> you know? And I didn't have any moment like that in this one. So Stay I, I enjoyed it. I, exactly. I enjoyed it enough to beat it. So, I mean, I beat the game as well. So I enjoyed it that much. So I want a Resident Evil with the horror or the scariness cranked up to 11. Yeah, for seven, I, for, for me, seven wasn't scary at all. I, there was no scary parts that I found. I went through that with no problem. Same thing with eight, but um, I, know, I guess it takes more for me, I guess, with certain certain scary games. You know, some of them are some other games besides Resident Evil are way scarier. But I was hoping this one would be more scary. They they, they actually did supposedly Capcom actually did a survey player survey and they were on board with with you, Pat. They thought seven was way too scary. That's why they went more action with this one and less scary because people found they didn't complete it because it was too scary. The same thing, you know, with the, you know, you and Shane, I think in the most part with, with completing seven. Um, so that's why they went kind of this route to be more mainstream, uh, with, with more people being able to play it. So I understand that. I just wish there would be like a super scary. I kind of like to see them take a, kind of do it not necessarily go in the lines of uh, seven and eight and then going into nine but do like a spin-off that's kind of like back to the old resident evil one and two and stuff like that with the zombies and everything and just make it really horror and really scary just kind of like a like a spin-off project well we yeah, know but... what's going to happen they're going to continue this series now they've already lined it up oh yeah well yeah. The ending <laughs> lined it up yeah if yeah. you beat the game it'll line it up so sure yeah but it's capcom so they'll make spin-off after spin-off well, yeah. Uh, but yeah, but you guys remember the original Resident Evil, you know, it was jump scares uh, because there was really nothing like it at the time. Uh, maybe clockwork or something, you know, walking down the hall, like God dang dog jumps through the window with the birds or whatnot. Or you turn a corner and there's a zombie right in your face. And 
you know, uh, and those were great. Um, but I think, I think seven, I would have to agree. Seven was for a lot of people, a little too scary. Uh, I wished eight was a little bit more on the scary side, except for that one scene they could have toned down because, you know, I'm still removing stains. Uh, but I think, uh, I, I think that was a good pace for this one overall, except for the last couple chapters. It was like really odd the way they did it. Uh, I mean, I kind of understand the story why, but I don't know. Uh, that's probably my only real quip about the game is some, uh, the pacing there at the end. But other than that, uh, definitely worth a buy. Definitely. Uh, I can't wait to see what they do with some DLC because they put out a good DLC for seven. So hopefully they'll do the same thing for eight. Yeah. And, and you know, Shane mentioned it. When you beat the game, you do unlock Mercenaries Mode, which Mercenaries Mode has been a mode that's been around since I think you said five, Shane. And I think that's right or somewhere around there. Um, so, you know, it, that's a fun mode, especially if this one, I don't think we've played it yet, but especially if they have added or if they've included co-op in that, cause I know the old ones had co-op. So hopefully this mercenary mode has it. We can check it out. And then of course the game does come with the reverse, um, which is the PVP, uh, Resident Evil thing. Um, that'll be out yeah. sometime this summer. It's not out yet. Right. Yeah. It'll be out sometime this summer. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they'll change it at all. I played the beta back in the, in the bit in the day, and it's stupid. <laughs> like I don't know why. Is this the one that we all play? No, no, that was the other multiplayer one that that had you were uh, basically was it four survivors and then one yeah. person? Yeah, played that one. Like that God one came out with uh, Resident Evil Three. So yep. this one, the remake. Um, this one comes out with seven, the reverse, which is a PvP. It's like three on three or four on four or six on six or something like that. It's it's. I played the beta back when they had a beta a couple months ago and it's it's stupid like i don't know you know you had to take a survey after it and my survey was pretty much why are you wasting development time on this like just don't just stop it now and scrap it because it's not worth it, it like in this is it's, it's it's free so i can't complain too much but resident evil 3 had that mode you guys are talking about um like resistance i think it was or something like that um and it's and I think about it now and I'm like, who's playing that now? Like we didn't after Resistance came out, Resident Evil 3 came out, they talked about Resistance for like two days and then it was never talked about again. And I don't think I've seen one article about that mode. There's probably nobody playing it now except for like maybe like a small group of people that are just replaying the maps because they want to have, you know, because they enjoy it or something. But that's probably about it. Or yeah, <laughs> whatever. And it's like, you know, this reverse is going to be the same thing. It's like, don't waste developers at Capcom to make this stupid crap. If you want to make something good, make something good. Otherwise, just don't include it. It's not needed. People were going to buy Resident Evil 8 without this, so you didn't need to have that there. To, to It's not there to boost sales, because you were going to sell it anyway. Well, everybody's got to capitalize on that uh, Fortnite, you know, money. You know, and Fortnite's <laughs> right. a free game that they make billions on, so Capcom's like, we got to get our fingers in that pot. We're going to sell some skins. We're going to sell some cosmetics, you know. <laughs> They're um, going to waste money in doing it. There. Is it as bad as, what was that, Metal Gear? Was it the Metal Gear? Survival. Metal Gear. Survival. Oh, yeah, survival. <laughs> yeah. was, it, was it as bad as that? No, I mean, it's, it, it's, it's not like that. Like, it's just small maps, you know, familiar maps, and you play as familiar characters, and you just go around shooting each other, and, you know, it's like pretty much just a deathmatch mode. And then you can buy like, or you can get like these little vials that turn you into the big monsters and stuff, but you have to get quite a few of them. And then once you do, you can turn into like the bio mutants, like the tyrant and stuff, which is cool. But I mean, the, the, the time from the, the, uh, you know, shoot the kill ratio, like how fast it takes to die is pretty quick. So it's like, there's no point in, in, in going around. It's just boring. It's just like not even worth your time. Yeah, I've not heard anything good about that at all. Um, and I'm pretty sure your review summed up everything I've heard. So awesome there. Yeah, um, I, hadn't, I didn't have any intentions of playing it neither. I was like, eh, it, yeah, I don't get it for the multiplayer. I get Resident Evil for the story. Yeah, uh, and that's the thing. Uh, you know, if they want to do something like that, do another outbreak. Make a good outbreak. That would be awesome. You know, some you know cooperative play. Uh, that's what Resident Evil, 
you know, needs, if they're going to go off of, uh, they're going to go away from their mainline stuff, they need to do something more like Outbreak. Outbreak was, uh, uh, back in his day, was good. Yeah, I think it was a little ahead of its time because it was on the PS2, you know, and you had to buy the uh, network card, you know, slot thing for it. So, <laughs> but I bought it. <laughs> But I mean, ultimately, back to Resident Evil 8, you know, those are kind of additions that you get with Resident Evil 8. So if you're looking forward to the PvP mode or mercenaries, you know, those are there. But all in all, Resident Evil 8, I think a great package, a great game, uh, definitely worth the price tag, 60 bucks for it. It's, it's definitely worth it. You'll get your time out of it if you enjoy the Resident Evil series. And I think right now it's like when it's uh, number one or sold the most units in the low, shortest amount of time or something like that uh, for, <laughs> for the series. So. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a great game. It's got great reviews from the critics and players alike. So if you haven't played it yet and you're interested in Resident Evil or want to check it out, definitely, I say definitely do so. Right, yep. Um, that um, The mercenary mode is the arcade mode, right? I, did we play something very similar to that, I think? I can't remember. But I don't it's, think you have, we you have to did. beat the game, though, to play mercenary mode, right? Yeah, I don't think we did it. I don't think we did as a group play anything like that for Resident Evil, but we play a lot, so I could be mistaken. Yeah, it's a similar mode that we've played before. I don't think we played Mercenaries together, but it's pretty much like, uh, I think all the Mercenaries before had only been two-player co-op, but they're basically waves of enemies. It's kind of like Horde mode in, in Gears of War. You have waves of enemies that come in, and then you shoot them, and you get upgrades and various ammo and stuff like that. And like, I think you get, like in the old ones, you get currency that you could use to like upgrade your characters and stuff. Um and then you just keep repeating that, just playing and seeing how many waves you can get to and stuff. Interesting. So you've locked that behind beating the game. So Russ, you have to beat the game so you can play mercenaries with us. You can't play mercenaries without beating the game. <laughs> you just got to put it down in easy mode and just plug through it. I'll, I'll take y'all's word for it. We'll see. I, I may try. I may, I may get it. I may get, you know, who knows? I, I, there might be a moment where I, I get like a day or something like that. Cause it wasn't, it didn't sound like there was an entirely, a lot of hours gameplay as long as you went in there and you started, you know, I mean, I think it said like 13 to 15 hours. So that's not terrible when I've already got uh, about half the game done. So I could probably get up of a morning and finish it in a day. If I really got down on it and started to do it. I'll tell you from where you are, you got quite a bit of time left. That's not even getting through that part is not even a quarter of the game. It's like a fifth of the game. Yeah. Just, it the, seems like uh, a lot. The yeah, first just part the seems factory like a lot. itself was, four hours yeah well yeah but i mean i'm already you're looking at you know he's like you said a quarter of the game a quarter of the game is you know i've got about four hours of gameplay in so you know even if i even if i'm looking at 10 to 12 hours i mean if i get up of a morning it could be very possible i'll have a little playthrough guide with me just so i can make it a little bit quicker yeah <laughs> cool i mean i definitely were it was worth my time i paid the six i paid full price for it um and i would definitely you know, we paid full price for it, I should say. I would pay full price for it. And I got I feel like I got my money's worth out of it. And if we play mercenaries mode, I may even get more time my money's worth. So I, I beat the game. I would say 13 hours worth of gameplay really isn't worth 60 bucks of my time. I put a $60 game at like 20 hours worth of gameplay. So I am almost there. And if mercenaries pushes me over the top, good. But right now I'm I, you know, to me it's an okay, it's a good game. But to me, I could have waited till it went on sale. I'm not missing anything by having to play it day one, unless I just wanted to avoid spoilers, you know? So for me, I could have waited till it was on sale just because I base a $60 game off a game that gives me at least 20 hours worth of gameplay. And I don't have that in it yet. Um, but if we play Mercenaries, I will get there. <laughs> yeah, I would almost agree with that. But I'm a Resident Evil fan. It was going to get picked up regardless. Uh, and I think $60... Uh, for the experience I had was worth it. Uh, plus, I, I'll, I'll go back and play. I mean, you guys may not. I'll go back and do another run through at some point. Uh, just because I want all the little hidden, you know, things throughout the game. Uh, I'm going to go find that last piece of meat that I sold and <laughs> get that part finished. Um, uh, it's well worth it. Uh, in my opinion, I think uh, Capcom uh, needs to fix a few little things in their next iteration. Uh, but other than that, I think uh, what they've been doing with the Resident Evil series, the last four games, two remakes, and these two, seven and eight, love them. Absolutely love them. 
Uh, this game here for me is probably the same as any Resident Evil game for me. It's whenever it goes on sale for Patrick and then I get it for free. So that's pretty much what I feel about this game. Um, and, um, you know, we'll see. Maybe I'll get back to it because there is a multiplayer, but, um, I mean, I wouldn't, ca- I wouldn't, I wouldn't count on it, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Don't hold your breath is what you're telling us. <laughs> yeah. Which is kind of funny because you bought this one. I'm pretty sure this was a you. Yeah, buy. <laughs> this was me buy, but that's so be it. I mean, there you go. I got sucked into it, but that's all right. It happens. We all, we, we all contribute to each other. And so this is a game. I mean, in honesty, so if you look at it that way, then, then Patrick enjoyed the game. He, and so it's worth my 60 bucks because there's some games that he's bought that I've really enjoyed, uh, and vice versa. So, you know, I, I would say if you're a fan of, of these Resident Evil games, uh, this one do, will do fair by you and, and, and you should enjoy it. Cool. So, I mean, sounds like most of us are in agreement. It's a good game. You know, it's a good game. I will admit it's a good game. I'm not saying don't. If you're a Resident Evil fan or you're a horror, uh, FPS fan, this will definitely float your boat. I mean, it was good. It had lots of puzzles, lots of cool things, but it's just like typical. Most things There's a lot of backtracking to get the secrets mm-hmm. and the unlocks and the hiddens and stuff like that. So, um, and there are things that once you move out of a zone, you can't go back to. So you have to pay attention because certain yep. zones close up behind you once you, you know, exit them. So make sure you're paying attention. Uh, you're trying to get all those little hidden trophies and hidden things, and you just got to pay attention or use a guide to help you find them, whatever is your tactic. Um, but I I think I played it kind of slow, and I had 13 to 14 hours into it. So just under 14, I think. So, And I think I went kind of slow just because it's, it's a horror game, and I'm like, uh, I'm not a big fan of these, so let me see what's around that corner over there. <laughs> uh, uh, what is it? What is it? It's a leaf. Is that a leaf? Okay, it was a leaf. We're good. Let's go. Right. I got my sniper rifle up, and I'm like, is that a is that something way out there in the distance? Uh, I don't think so. Let me crawl up here a little bit closer. <laughs> so I took my time with this one. I had a sniper rifle zoomed out. I was trying to get a guy way back there near the uh, going to the factory, and and I'm zoomed in, and Lycan jumps right in front of us. All I see is this big giant eyeball stare at me. <laughs> Freaked me out. Did you pull the trigger and blow his head off in one I sh- <laughs> tore that sucker right off at the nub. <laughs> but no, it is a fantastic game. Before we go, I want to say, hey to Nathan, I'm back. <laughs> He's missed me. Cool. <laughs> well, cool. It sounds like we all pretty much enjoyed this one. I mean, Russ got the least amount of enjoyment, and uh, Nick and Shane are big, huge RE fans, so they love it. So if you're a fan of the series, then you know that you're going to like it because they like it. I'm a... Uh, I can take it or leave it with the Resident Evil series, but I did enjoy this game. Uh, Russ did not enjoy it as much, but we'll see what happens with this. See if he can beat it so we can all play the um, the mercenaries mode together. Need to get some of that CP to buy in game stuff. Yep. So <laughs> uh, one thing cool. I did find, though, according to online, the mercenary mode is strictly single player. Wow. And they've always been multiplayer, so I don't know why this one. I'm that's what it, that's what it says, but. I haven't checked it out yet, but if it says that, that's probably what it is. And that sucks, because they've always been multiplayer, those mercenary modes. Yeah. Huh. Uh, That's weird, because I I thought it specifically said mercenaries multiplayer mode. Uh, I didn't see multiplayer. I just seen the same mercenaries mode, which... I don't know. We'll have to check it out. I haven't played the mercenaries mode or anything like that to see if it did have any sort of co-op. So, but, I mean, hopefully it does. But just to yeah, put an FYI, no out, FYI out there for everyone, if it doesn't have it, sorry. Well, uh, if it doesn't, we're going to have to do a re-review and change my score. <laughs> right. Yeah, mine too, because uh, I'm not getting my 20 hours out of it then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, let's check so, it out. Maybe we'll have a spoiler version of the game. We can talk about Mercenaries yep. mode. Yeah, yep. so we'll we'll see how that goes. Cool. Well, sounds like uh, this one was uh, this one was a pretty good game, and I don't know about drained out of blood. Lady Damascus has basically sucked it all out, so we're gonna have to end this one quick before I pass out. <laughs> so <laughs> we hope everybody enjoyed uh, this tromp through Resident Evil with us, and we hope to catch you in the next episode. See ya. 